shows, they have reached such a startling new form that some prefer to call them graphic novels. And in our cover story, we find they are evolving faster than you can say, Shazam! When was the last time you looked at a comic book? You probably thought they were for kids. Well, take a look now, because comic books have grown up. They're just not for kids anymore, most of them. Perhaps they used to be, but now definitely they're not. Kids can still read them, but it's like, you know, the kind of stories they, they, that the writers write for them, it's like, it's more for an older audience. In Europe, South America, and Japan, comic books have always been a respected literary medium. But here, comics like jazz music are one of the few truly American art forms even though it's taken 50 years to change their juvenile stereotype. Even the term comic book is a misnomer. Whenever I write it, I never write it as two words, which would mean a humorous book. But it's one word, it's a comic book, which really means an illustrated story. The new genre is typified by more reality than fantasy. Costumed heroes now live in real cities and battle personal problems as well as villains. You can relate to the character now, whereas years ago, it, like you said, they were goody-good two-shoes, and they always come up on the right side, and they never got hurt, and their costume never got dirty. This style has drawn the newer, more mature audiences to specialty comic book shops, which have increased from less than 100 in the 70s to over 4,000 today. But will this new style bring back censorship like comics suffered through in the 50s? Comic books are an important contributing factor in many cases of juvenile delinquency. We always have to be aware that we're catering now to a very broad spectrum of readers, and we have to be very careful about what goes on these pages. The art's really the first thing that attracts me to comics. Definitely the quality of the writing and the quality of the art. The combination of striking art and intelligent writing has produced hundreds of titles like The Watchman, Mouse, and the bestseller Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, in which author Frank Miller takes the caped crusader back to the roots of his original character. We've got to keep in mind that the main image people have of superheroes is, the, is Adam West playing Batman on the old TV show. That's what had to be overcome. But the idea itself is, is, is valuable, and it's also um, a hell of a lot of fun to, to write and draw. In the 50 years since Superman and Batman first appeared, heralding the age of comic books as we know them now, comics have come a long way. Retail sales have now grown to $350 million, and that's up from less than $200 million just four years ago. That's interesting. Did you have a favorite comic book? Yeah, I, not a superhero. I like the Archies. Yeah, I did. I like did the Archies, like? too, but I don't know if they translate to this philosophy today. I don't know how much literary license you can take with Moose and Jughead. Jughead, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Lots more to tell you about when we return. We'll have these stories. Coming up, Star Trek's William Shatner.